Hello, Prep 3. We now explain the calories in Theorem 1 and the well no problems. Theorem 1 it is called the measuring of central angle equals twice the measuring of inscribed angle. And number calories are number one. The measuring of C, measuring of C it is inscribed angle. Inscribed angles equals half the measuring of M. But measuring of M, it is the central angle equals measuring of AB. Then AB equals measuring of M. But measuring of N twice measuring of C. Then measuring of C equals half the measuring of AB. Okay? In these figures, we can find the measuring of X, measuring of N. How? The triangles N, Y, Z, it is isosceles triangles. Why? N, Y equal N, Z. Then the measuring of N, Y, Z equal 30 degree. From 180, then measuring of N equals 120 degree. And the measuring of X equals half measuring of N equal 60 degree. Then measuring of N equal 120 degree. Measuring of X equal 60 degree. Okay. Find the measuring of XZ, arc XZ and arc XY. XZ it is a inscribed angle equal 70. Then XZ twice inscribed equal 140 degree. Then measuring of XZ equal 140 degree. Okay. And find the measuring of arc XY. XY. Uh, the inscribed angle X equal 60. Then the arc equal 120. Okay. Okay, 120. But measuring of circle equal 360. Then 140 plus 120 from 360 equals equals 100 degree. Then the arc X Y equal 100 degree. Okay, okay. This is number two. Um, the measuring of C equals half the measuring of arc, but the arc it is a semicircle. Then, then the AB it is a diameter. Okay. And then measuring of AMB equal 180. Then measuring of C it is inscribed in semicircle. Any inscribed in semicircles equals 90. Measuring of C, half measuring of AMB, but AMB equal 180, then measuring of C equal 90 degree. Complete in these figures, okay? Find the measuring of A. In these figures, in the first figures, measuring of A. A, A, it is inscribed angles, okay? On arc A, B, C. And the measuring of arc BC equal 140. Then measuring of R of A equal equal 70 degree. Then measuring of A equal 70 degree. But the triangles ABC it is the sum measures of interior angles equals 180, 60 plus 70 from uh, 180. Then measuring of B equal 50 degree. Measuring of B equal 50 degree. But measuring of B, it is inscribed angles on subtended of AC. Then the arc of AC equal twice inscribed angle equal 100. Then measuring of arc AC equal 100 degree. Okay? Number two, the measuring of C. Measuring of C, C it is inscribed angle in semicircle. Then measuring of C equal 90 degree, okay, 90 degree, okay, measuring of C equal 90 degree, and find the measuring of B, measuring of B, we can find the measuring of A, it is half the inscribed angle equal uh, 64 degree, from 180, 90 plus 64 from 180, then the measuring of B equal, the measuring of B equal 26. The measuring of B equal 26. We can find the measuring of B from the other method by, this is the arc equals 180 from uh, 128, 
equals measuring of uh, AC. Then the measuring of B half measuring of C. Okay. Number three. Number three. The arc of AC equal 92. Then the measuring of B equal half 92 equal 46. Then X plus 1 equal 46. Then X equal 46 minus 1 equals 45. Okay, measuring of X equal 45. But find the measuring of arc AB. How to find the measuring of arc AB? Measuring of arc AB from 360, 360 minus 92 plus 110 equals 158 degree. The measuring of arc AB equal 360 minus 92 plus 110 equal 158. Okay, and this in the fourth figures number four measuring of arc AC. How to find the measuring of arc AC? The circles equals 360 divided. 360 divided 3 equal 120 degree. Arc AC equal 100, 120. But measuring of B, half measuring of this arc equals half 120 equal 60 degree. Okay, equal 60 degree. You know that? Number 5, in these figures, okay, the circles M it is the A B divided in three. The arc A B it is measuring equal one hundred eighty equal one hundred eighty. Then the arc equal sixty degree. Sixty degree, sixty degree, sixty degree. But measuring of E equal half sixty equal thirty degree. Okay? Number six. Uh, the arc, the measuring of A equal 20. Then the arc equals 40 degree. But CB equals CD. Then equals 40 degree. Then measuring of M equals measuring of the same arc. Substantiated in on it. Then measuring of M equal 40 degree. Number 7. Measuring of M equal 40. Then the arc equal 40. But the midpoint of AC. Then AC equals 80 degree. Then the measuring of inscribed angles equal half an 80 equal 40 degree. Okay. Uh, number eight, the arc DA equal 90. And the measuring of D equal 30. Then measuring of this arc equal 60. Find the measuring of C, the inscribed angles C, subtended in arc DAB. And the measuring of arc DAB equal 90 plus 60 equal 150. Okay, then the inscribed angle equal half 150 equal 75. Okay, a well known problems number one. If the two uh, cords are intersected inside the circle in E, then the angles between two cords equals AEC. The angle AEC equals half to arcs AC and MBD. How to find, how to prove this? Well, no. If the measuring of arc, uh, the measuring of angle AEC, measuring of Angle A E C equals measuring of B plus measuring of C. How? Why? Measuring of E it is the exterior angles equal B plus C. But measuring of B equal half this arc. Measuring of B equal half arc A C. But measuring of C half this arc. Measuring of C half measuring of arc BD. Okay? We can find by taking HSF half, taking HSF half, then the angle AEC equals arc half arc AC plus arc BD. Okay? We can find this. How to find any arc from these rules? When we 
when, when we intersected uh, the two uh, chords are intersected at E, how can find the arc AC or DB? Measuring of AC, okay, measuring of arc AC or DB equal twice measuring of the angles, measuring of angles AEC minus the other arc minus measuring of arc D. B okay, measuring minus the othering of arc. Okay, number two, any two chords are intersected outside the circles at A. Then the measuring of A, how to find the measuring of A? Okay, measuring of D C D E, it is the exterior angle in the this triangle C A D. Then D equals A plus C, okay? D equals A plus C, okay? Then the measuring of A equal. Measuring of A equal measuring of D minus measure, measuring of C equal measuring of D minus measuring of C. But D, it is the inscribed angles equal half this arc. Okay, this measuring of D equals half arc EC, half arc EC, okay? And the measuring of C, it is the inscribed angles, equals half this arc, half arc BD, half arc BD. We find this by taking HSF, highest common factors, half, then the measuring of A equals EC minus BD, okay? Equals BC, it's EC minus BD. How to find the greatest arc or smallest arc? When we find the greatest arc, say the greatest arc is EC. How to find this EC? Measuring of EC, measuring of EC equals twice measuring of A plus measuring of measuring of arc D B, okay, or B D. When we can find the smallest arc D B, measuring of arc D B, okay, equals the Measuring of arc EC, okay, minus twice measuring of angle A. When we can find the greatest arc, we can find the greatest arc two by angles plus the smallest arc. When we can find the smallest arc DB, we can find this by these rules. Measuring of greatest arc minus twice this angles, okay? Number one, find the measuring of angle AEC. AEC. Measuring of angle AEC not inscribed, not central. Then equals half sum two arcs. Half sum two arcs. Half 10 on 100 plus 60 equal 160. Half it equals 80 degree. The measuring of B, it is the uh, angle uh, outside the circle intersected by extended two chords, okay? Then measuring of B equals half the greatest arc minus smallest arc. Half 70 minus 30 equals 40 times half equals 20. And this figures, find the arc BC. BC, it is one arc. Okay, twice angles minus the other angle, the other side, the other arc. Twice the measuring of angle minus the other arc. Okay, number E and number four. Find the measuring of arc EC. Arc EC equals twice times angles plus 30 from the other rules. Twice times 228 plus 30 equal 86. Okay. Example number one, find or prove that measuring of C equal quarter measuring of N. Measuring of C, half measuring of the arc AD, okay? And measuring of arc AD equals half measuring of arc AB. 
Why? Because D is midpoint of arc AB. But measure, then measuring of C equal quarter measuring of arc AB. But arc AB equals measuring of arc N. It is the central angle on ADB. Then measuring of C is equals quarter measuring of N. Measuring of C, quarter measuring of N. Measuring of C, half AD. AD, half AB. Then AC, half AB, a quarter AB. But AB equals N, then C quarter equals, equals quarter N. Okay? Example number two in this figures. AM1, it is the diameter in the smallest circle. Then measuring of ADM1 is right. Okay? But AB it is the diameter in the greatest circle. Then measuring of ACB is right. Okay? Prove that the triangles ADM1 similar to triangles ACB. In this figures, angle A, common angle. And the measuring of D or A, D, M1 equal measuring of C equals 90 degree. This is two condition. Then the other angles, the third angles equal the third angle. Then the two similar, two, uh, two triangles are similar. Two triangles are similar must be, must be proved that all angles, corresponding angles are equal, okay? Measuring of A, common angle. Measuring of D, equal measuring of C. Then, therefore, measuring of M1, equal measuring of B, okay? Last example, last example, in this figures, uh, AC, it is a, a tangent, okay? AB, it is a diameter, then measuring of A, equal right angle, okay? In this figures, the radius equal 6, then the other radius equal 6, then the AB equal 12. We can find the BC from Pythagoras theorem equals BC power 2 equal AC power 2 plus AB power 2. 9 power 2 plus 12 power 2 equal 225. Then BC square root 125, 225 equal 15 centimeter. Okay? But a, B, it is the diameter. Diameter in this circles, then the inscribed angle A, D, B, it is right. A, D, B, it is right angle, okay? Then we can find the A, D by using a Euclidean theorem, okay? A, D equal A, C times A, B divided B, C. 9 by 12 divided 15. 9 by 12 divided 15 equal 7.2. It uh, is the last example in this uh, lesson. You can must be solve the exercise on uh, booklet. Thank you. Thank you, Prep 3.